Jeff? Well, how's, how's the first week of camp been? Obviously, new position. Um, you know, have, have you felt like it's been natural? Has it been kind of a test? Uh, yeah, definitely a test. You know, just trying to knock some rust off and just trying to get into my left-handed stance and, you know, pass set, run set. You know, just trying to get a better feeling over here. So, how, how much I don't know translating takes place, like kind of going from side to side. Like, is it is it getting natural? But like, what is what is kind of like you know the mental process of that? Um, I don't think there's like a lot to it. It's just knowing your assignment really. Uh, you know, it goes from nine to eight and eight to nine. Really, just. Know your numbers and know what is left and right. So, and just playing with different guys, you, you got some rotation at, at that at that guard spot. What's what's that like? Uh, no, I, I haven't really got rotation. No, 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 in. no, you playing with different guys like on oh. the side. Like, is it communication? Like, I don't know. Like, do you have to learn how to communicate with different guys and, and uh, how to play off of? Them? Yeah, I, I mean, I'd say everybody kind of communicates very well on this O line. Uh, you know, everybody's like well taught, and I don't think we really have have a problem talking out there. So. I guess what what has been the biggest thing you have learned in this last week or so? Um, I think really just learning the level of competition you're going against. I, I don't think there's really a big difference in the playbook wise. It, you know, it's just every day I'm trying to learn a little bit more and more in the playbook. But I think the quality of the reps is kind of like learning different things with different players. So last week I think Eric said that you were a dog. He said that you're the best off rookie <laughs> offensive lineman uh -huh. that he's ever played with. Just your thoughts on just hearing. Eric say that about you. Say he didn't want to tell you that much because he didn't want to. Yeah. Think it's too big. Uh, you know, I love Eric because he's like a big brother to me right now. I think the whole line really is big brothers to me. Uh, just being able to like hear that from a guy like that, uh, it's just a blessing. So I'm just trying to not really listen to it, but listen to it at the same time and just play my game. So. And what have been your thoughts on uh, on Chase Young? On the, on the what have been your early thoughts on that? Oh, uh, I think he's a great player. Um, he plays with some speed and power. He has like a lot of different tools he could use. Uh, he's a big, he's a big dude. Uh, I ain't really seen players like that in college, so it's just a, it's a blessing to go against a guy like that. He's good. Yeah, just watching from the sideline, it does seem like that size, at the, even at the defensive end position, is different. You know, is that when you kind of wind up against that? Obviously, just the last two days in terms of team drills. Is there, you know, do you have to kind of lock in a little bit more when you see it? Yeah, I'd say you got to lock in, but. It's just being able to just go out there and just play your game. It's uh, just a mentality, I would say. Is it a wild moment, kind of like your eyes kind of get big when you see how wild this guy is? Like, dude, I'm lining up against. It's definitely like, uh, wow, this is Chase Young, but or like Carl Granderson, or wow, this is Cam Jordan. But at the end of the day, I just got to play my game. It's like a boxer mentality. You can't really be afraid of anybody. Have you learned uh, anything about yourself, just getting the pads on, having to block these guys, any, anything like that? Um. No, I really haven't learned anything really too much about myself that I already know. Uh, just trying to take one play at a time and just have a boxer mentality, like I just said. So. With McCoy saying that, like, you're the best offensive line, rookie offensive line, he's ever seen, like, does it feel like to you that you're having that good of a camp? Or, like, how, how does this feel to you? Um, I heard it, and, you know, I I really am thankful for that. And I really appreciate Eric because, you know, Eric's a great player. And just getting that is a blessing. But... For myself, I just try to, I listen to it. I'm very thankful and I just kind of put it away just because I know I got to get better. I guess, yeah, I just like, just from a confidence standpoint or like a, like, do you feel like you're having the type of camp that would warrant that conversation? Uh, i definitely say that, yeah. Just because I see myself, you know, just learning how to get better and better each day, which uh, Lucas Patrick, you know, try to tell me. So, just trying to get better. How how has that kind of continuity developed? Obviously, Nick wasn't out there today, but that five man group has been pretty consistent throughout the off season. How have you seen that grow from OTAs mini camp to now? Just being able to like create a chemistry in the online room. I think when we have meetings and stuff, you know, it's a we're definitely a lock in sort of mentality. But we always like to have fun and just learn about each other, learn who's from where, because it's a you know we're all from the United States and all from different kind of places, and we all come to a room and. You know, it's fun to have, but just being able to have that chemistry is just a, it's a good feeling. Gotcha. And we've heard Derek kind of talk about the group and, and how Eric has developed as a leader. Obviously, it's your first year. You weren't playing with him last year or whatever, but how has he been as a leader? Has he kind of really taken charge of, of that room? Yeah, I'd say he has like a, he has like a leadership kind of voice when he talks to like the whole kind of group, yeah. whether it's meetings, whether it's practice, you know, he's out there and just trying to be able to pump everybody up and just put everybody into that mentality that, hey, we're not losing today, we're not losing this down, we're not losing this play. Everybody do their assignment and we're going to have a good
good job. So, I mean, how important is that? Like, just to have someone who is kind of that established leader where it's like, okay, the buck kind of stops here. Is that something that, that benefits an offensive line? I definitely think it uh, benefits O line. Uh, I think it just because as an O line, what my mentality is like, it starts up front. You know what I mean? So, as long as the O line, we're all set and we're all into that mentality of, hey, we're gonna win every single play. And I think the whole offense just gets the whole, you know, thing rolling. So. Anything else? Nope. All right, guys. All right, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.